Hello there, Sagittarius. How's it going, you guys? It's time for your reading, and it looks it looks uh, major transformations is what I'm looking at. Okay. Um. Yeah, and there's a few things in here that you really should honestly really listen to me about for advice because, you know, I see some things in here that you really, you know, you have the <clears throat> you have the four of swords here in reverse all right and this is seriously telling you it's a very serious message uh sagittarius um that you're working too much and you need to get some rest all right you could be working under very stressful situations and you're you're putting too much of your energy out and you're not getting enough sleep all right and your energy reserves are getting low all right so you need to get your rest. Very, very important, okay? And especially, it's it's next to the hermit, right? Yeah, I usually don't do the cards first, but I had to because I want to make sure that you get, get some sleep. I want to make sure that you get that message, um, okay? And with the hermit here, it's saying, you know, you know, to get out there and, you know, or to get to go home or whatever and just, you know, and relax, retreat, retreat and relax, okay? Get some sleep, all right? And um, <clears throat> now I see the judgment card over here. This could be a few things. I wanted to get into the reading, and then uh, I think this has something to do with uh, with with something up here in, in the runes. I haven't really got into the runes here yet, so let's Let's get into the runes. I just had to say this because I saw that right off, and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> okay, so anyhow, Sagittarius, the first rune that we pulled here was Digaz, and um, it, it, it's transformation. You can see it's, it's shaped like a butterfly, all right? And um, you have it twice, so, you know... I feel that some of you have actually gone through a rebirth, okay? And maybe some of you are still going through a rebirth, a spiritual rebirth. It's like um, it's like flowing, flowing like water. So you have Lagus here. This is going with the flow. And this is what you've been doing. You've been going with the flow. But, you know, honestly, Sagittarius, you, you need to get your sleep, all right? Um, yeah, and you have Hagelez right here too. Hagelez is, you know, kind of shocking, you know, and I think that, um, <clears throat> I think what Hagelez here is, is saying, um, you know, it's saying to, you can't control what other people do, but you can control yourself, okay? And one thing uh, that you really need to do is stop spending so much energy uh, and time on on other things when you need to be getting some sleep, right? Balance things out. Get your energy reserves back up, all right? Now you have uh, Ingwaz right here in the middle of the reading. This is really awesome. So, you know, also with Hagelez here next to Ingwaz, this could be something shocking um, it's not a bad shocking. It's a good shocking. It's definitely a good shocking. It's not something, you know, um, I don't think it's anything bad. I think this is male energy, by the way, too. This is uh, Ingwa's, and it's, it's, uh, it's very, very prosperous. It, it, it propels you forward in a really powerful motion. And Ingwa's can also indicate... Um, you know, sexuality. It could be, you know, sexuality as well. Mm -hmm. But in most cases, it's just something propelling you forward. You know, it's 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 usually has something to do uh, with you know uh, your work or business or something that has pushed you forward. And maybe that's all this work that you've been doing. And you know, it could be. But see, now you have Tiwaz here, all right? And it's it's in reverse. And Tiwaz in reverse always means slow down. And what I say over here, 
you know, you need to you need to slow down, Sagittarius, and get some sleep, all right? Again. So I don't know. I hate to repeat myself, but the runes the runes and the cards are basically repeating themselves. So this must be a very important message for you to hear. Okay? And uh, you have uh, Awas right here. Like I said, this is the death uh, rune. This is like uh, a rebirth, you know? Look at You have Digaz twice. So, like I said, I think you're going through a rebirth. Um, um, or you have already gone through a rebirth. Yeah. And so, you know, just go with the flow. Just go with the flow over here with Lagoos. Get some rest. That's the main the main thing. Now I see um Iwas here in reverse. Now Iwas could be a couple of things. Um it could be uh something or that you don't trust. Um, you know, I see something a judgment right here. And judgment could be like something that's already been done and over with coming back to life. Alright? And this is some sort of a decision, but uh, whatever this is, Sagittarius, you know, with Ewas in reverse, you, if you don't, you're going to be, if somebody's trying to lie to you or try to get something over on you or, or it, you know, is not holding their end of the deal, uh, then you're going to be able to see it very clearly because you have the sun right here. All right. So there's no fooling Sagittarius. Not this week. <laughs> no fooling you. Okay. So, but anyway, um, it looks like a pretty good read. I just, you know, the main thing that I, I, I really stress on is to, you know, uh, recharge your energy. Recharge your, your energy. Get some sleep. What else is going on here with Sagittarius? I'll get you one of these Oracle cards. These are pretty powerful cards too. The Sorcerer, ooh. So let's see what the Sorcerer is talking about. This is uh, the Mystical Shaman Oracle. So let's see what this is talking about for Sagittarius. Uh -oh, let me see here. 48. When the sorcerer enters your circle, you're being called to look at how your beliefs around scarcity and self-centered fear manifest in your world. Examine the destructive part of your psyche that misuses power or harbors feelings of resentment, vengeance, lust, greed, bigotry, or hatred. Perhaps you've harmed someone because of these dark tendencies. If so, all is not lost. You have, on, you, you have only forgotten that all things are interconnected and the universe is abundant. The sorcerer arrives to challenge you to change your thinking. You're, giving a, you're given a second chance. Correct your course and practice not blaming others for darkness that invites, that lives inside you. Make peace and choose another way. Wow, that's pretty deep. So, yeah, maybe this is just saying to think differently and, and, um, and you know, and choose another way. Um, interesting. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say on that one. What else is going on here with Sagittarius? Last quarter moon in Libra. Make time for self-love. Make time for self-love. And, I, you know, this is repeating itself too. Love yourself, okay? Get some sleep. Stop exhausting yourself over, um, you know, trying to to work so hard that you, if you don't work, you're gonna be scarce. Cause see, like the sorcerer said, it said 
you're, you're, the way you're thinking about being scarce, you know, scarcity of things, you know, like if you don't work, you're, you know, you, you're going to lose out. Um, this is saying to change that. All right. I, I, I think that that's mainly what that's talking about. Uh, especially when I see this here with the make, make time to love yourself or make time for, <clears throat> for self love. So yeah, just, this is for, this is for you, uh, you know, Sagittarius, just take care of you and everything will take care of itself. All right. You got Ligus right there. It's going to flow smoothly. All right. If you get some rest. All right. All right, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again uh, next week. All right. Bye for now, Sagittarius.